pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. All right, so today we are going to talk about money. I was inspired by Stephen Graham because he was talking about his multiple income sources, but because I'm an idiot or a baller, you know, tomato, tomato, I feel like it's more fitting that I show you guys my reckless spending. So as you know, I got $45,000 in bonus with my new software engineering job. So what I did was that I took $19,000 of it and put it into my 401k so that the company <laughs> Dude, I'm kidding, man, dude. I'm not a loser. I don't do 401ks. Also, you didn't click this video for this. You clicked it for my reckless spending. So I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, if I do my spending over time, oh, it's pretty much a hockey stick. I mean, usually people would be pretty happy about a hockey stick graph, but I mean, it, this is my spending, so I don't think that's a great thing. So as you can see, according to this, my last month spending was $18,900. And well, I mean, you know, but I mean, we should dig deeper into it because it's not always accurate because sometimes the program, they, they look at transfers and they think that's a spending, but it's actually not, or I actually spend more and it just wasn't recorded on this program. So we're going to try to export all of that into an Excel spreadsheet and then I'll dive deep into it. All right, before we continue this video, I just want to say that viewers discretion is advice. I made this video for entertainment purposes. Please do not spend all your money recklessly like me. And you have to know that my net worth is totally fine. It has been growing faster than ever. So please spend responsibly. Do not do like me. It's only for entertainment. <sighs> And if you're wondering, how is my net worth still growing so fast despite me spending so much? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. Is it because I'm a trust fund baby? I don't know. Is it because of my Bitcoins? I don't know. Enjoy the video. All right, so I'm having, I'm having problems with the autofocus, so I'm gonna have to put this in the background. So in case you were wondering why I have a Bitmoji, this is what I use it for. Okay. All right, okay, there we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, rename the description just for one, uh, privacy reasons, and also two, so that I actually remember what it is. Because you know sometimes the names are quite cryptic, it doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna do that first. And then secondly, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to separate them into buckets of spendings because I don't like the preset spendings that they use. So I'm gonna bucket them into birthday gift, uh, business expense, charity, entertainment, food, uh, I don't effing know, materialistic desires, medical, other, rent, self-improvement, transportation, and travel. Before you ask me what they are, I'm gonna go through them, okay? So don't worry about it. And the I don't effing know is just because I didn't wanna sort them anymore. There were a lot of small purchases from Amazon and I, dude, I don't have time. I don't have time to sort through all of them, okay? All right, so I got it. Uh, I did a lot of data cleaning because you know, I'm a, I'm a data scientist. So I ordered it by the amount spent. So you could see it in order of amount spent. All right, so let's go to the summary now. Uh, I made a pivot table and then, you know, a graph because why not? Honestly, it's not even necessary. But if you look at the breakdown, the, <laughs> the biggest expense is this line here, which is materialistic desires, which is everything that's related to shopping and stuff that I don't need. So that is the highest spending with $4,000. And then the next highest is entertainment. That is like concerts. What else? It's like concerts, uh, comedy shows, stuff like that. And then here, it's like business expense. This is related to like cameras, anything that I need to run my YouTube channel. Well, I mean, I actually don't need it. It's more, <sighs> okay, fine. Some of it can go to materialistic spending, but it's related to YouTube. So I'll put it in business expense. And then we have food, which is $1,000, which includes, you know, restaurants. Actually, it only includes restaurants. I, n I never do groceries, so it's, it's mainly restaurants. 
And then we got rent, which is my rent. I mean, I don't pay 4,600. I don't know if you saw my other video and I said I pay 4,600. Chill, man. I have roommates. It was only clickbait, okay? I only pay 1,900. And then we have self-improvement, <laughs> which is uh, the smallest bucket of my spending. For self-improvement, I have a personal training and uh, maybe Audible or something like that. But yeah, as you can see, I don't spend a lot on that. I don't do a lot of self-improvement. And then transportation, which is like Uber and stuff. What the f $1,000. Dude, I might as well rent a Tesla or something. Fuck. So here it says 22,000. I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe like I'm going to like clean it up a little bit. Okay, so let's look at it deep dive style. So monthly rent, $1,900. Okay. The Apple Watch Edmis, uh, 1,400. KCON LA tickets. I bought three of them. So this shouldn't really be 1300. I should divide this by three. So let's see, this divide by three. So then $1,000 for my new bed sheets, bedding, duvet and all that. Totally worth it because now when I sleep naked, it feels like, you know, silk, silky hands are all over my body. It feels really good. And then here is Hamilton tickets. I bought a Hamilton ticket for my brother, his fiance and me and it, yeah, it's on me. So this one, I have to leave it there because even though I bought three of them, they're not paying me back. All right, and then next we have AXO. This is Trevor Noah. Yeah, so for Trevor Noah, I bought two tickets. That was, um, yeah, that was for me and another friend and that cost 964. I can't divide that by two because they're not paying me back. Okay, and then I bought a Pixel 3 XL. Uh, it's right here. Why did I buy it? Um, no idea. I think it's like, it's a hedge, you know, in case one day Android becomes better than iPhone or that one day um, iPhones are not cool anymore. So at least the transition will be a lot easier for me because I now I use both. So it's a lot easier for me to transition into Android when the time comes. And then the next spending, three of them, $640. That is my flight ticket to Japan because I am going to Japan this year. Uh, I bought them for my friends, but they will pay me back. So I will delete these two. Okay. Oh wait, oh shit. I want to say the joke. I wanted to say, oh yeah. And the reason why I bought three tickets to Japan is because I want both of the seat next to me to be empty. So I bought all three of them, but no, I'm not that rich. And then, all right, $633. This is a business expense. It's, it's, it's kind of like a box. It's for doing live videos using my camera. Uh, I use it for my Tech Interview Pro. <laughs> Might as well plug Tech Interview Pro now. Good news, we added new videos about system design and also about how to transition into software engineering. And then the reason why I bought this live video thing is that we do live videos every two weeks for the Facebook group. And then you could ask us Q and A's and stuff like that. If you're interested, click on techinterviewpro.com. All right, and then next we got Ticketmaster. What is this? 544 bucks. What did I buy? I don't remember. The fuck? The fuck did I buy? July 4th. <sighs> Shit, what the fuck? Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Oh yeah, so I bought tickets for Ali Wong front seat. Okay, actually not front seat. The the row before the front seat because I don't want to get I don't want them to talk to me while they do their show because I always get nervous. So next we have, wow, that's a lot. We have four Facebook uh, charges. Two of them is for advertising. I mean, you know, how do you expect my channel to grow? You really think that I make good content, which is how I grow my channel? Don't be so naive. I pay for my subscribers. And then the other two is uh, for mental health America, which is a charity. Uh, I'm doing a fundraiser and I put in $500. Uh, it's not a thousand, so this is wrong because uh, I kind of did it twice by accident. So it's only $500. Uh, I'll talk about that later. I don't want to, I don't want you guys to think I'm a good person or anything. <laughs> All right. And then, oh, $440. That is my virtual assistant. I pay for a virtual assistant so that they can manage my calendar, they can respond to some emails, they can help me do some invoicing and stuff like that. Very useful. 
highly recommend it if you're rich. And then the next one, Tom An, that's actually just a guitar. So I bought a guitar, uh, you can see it right here. Yeah. Let's see. And then I got a lot of uh, business expense here, Zapier, WordPress, Venmo. Why the fuck did I buy WordPress? I don't know. Okay, some of it is pretty dumb. Okay, I guess you got the gist of it. You got the bulk of my spending. And uh, let's go back to the pivot table and see how it looks. It's not that bad. It's 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 still nineteen thousand dollars. Okay. Mm. Crazy thing. Honestly, I am okay with everything, but what the hell? Transportation is so high. Let me. Look at that. Uber, 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 Lift, 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 lift. So clearly I like Uber more, but holy shit. $1,000, is that right? Dude, I spent $1,000 in a month. Holy shit. Dude, I might as well just pay for a Tesla or something. Oh, you know what? You live and learn. All right, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video in terms of money-wise. So as you can see, Travel, $900. It's not that bad, actually. Transportation, $1,000. I could do better in that. Self-improvement, I shouldn't worry about spending more in self-improvement, but clearly I don't care about my self-improvement that much. Rent, $1,900. I can't change anything. Those are some utility costs, whatever. Other, I don't wanna go into that. But wait, what is an other? Let me go check. Cash advance interest, I don't know what that is. Virtual assistant was in other. Oh, maid cleaning service, I also put that in other. That's. I recommend that too, especially if you're lazy, right? So, okay, that's, that's not that bad. I'm not gonna change anything there. Entertainment, I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna change that because entertainment is important, right? Uh, let's go back to entertainment. I wanna see what I pay for entertainment. Yeah, like, like totally worth it, right? Spotify, I have to, Showtime, gotta, Hamilton tickets, you know, it's for my brother, it's important. Um, Fandigo, movie, totally important. I don't know what, oh, in-flight Wi-Fi. That's important too. Patreon, I don't know why it says gym, but Patreon, I gotta support the Patreon members. Tiffany Young tickets, K-pop, really important. We're gonna skip this one, we're gonna skip that one. Nintendo Digital, I, I could take that off, but it's only $4. Trevor Noah, that, that was worth it, that was really, you know, that, I mean, what are you gonna do with your money if you're not gonna have fun with it? KCON LA tickets, totally worth it. Ali Wong, totally worth it. So yeah, I'm not gonna change anything in my entertainment. Business expense, dude, it's business expense, man, it's, you know. To recap, yes, I spent a lot this month, but that's probably not every month, I hope. And there's two reasons why I spend so much. The first reason is consumption smoothing, all right? It's an econ term, learn it. <laughs> every, time, every time I spend too much, that's my excuse. Oh, I'm just doing consumption smoothing. And then the second reason is I don't plan on saving for retirement because I'm banking on the fact that one of my investments will pan out and will make me rich. So that saving a few thousands here and there would be irrelevant. Oh, what kind of investment? Stocks, real estate, bitcoins? No, you plebs, okay? I'm investing in my future kids. I'm banking on the fact that one of them will be extremely rich and that will pay dividends to me. It didn't work out for my parents but I'm optimistic for my kids. I should really call my parents. Ooh, a new K-pop video. Anyways, now I wanna talk about the charity section. So I got all these corgis from a thousand skies, so thank you so much, but I don't know what to do with them. I'm not gonna keep them in my place forever. So I decided to give them out in exchange for a donation to my fundraiser in Mental Health America. So that's when I decided to donate 500 to bootstrap my fundraiser so that it doesn't look like a total failure if I don't have anyone donating. <laughs> So if you're in the Bay Area, SF Bay Area, you could, you know, for a small donation, even just two bucks, you could just give two bucks and then I could personally hand you the Corgi and I could meet you and I could give you a Corgi. But if you're not in the SF Bay Area, unfortunately, uh, I can't deliver it to you. But if you really want one, you could go on thousandskies.com. In case you wanna know, they're not paying me for this. I just really, really like the Corgis because there's a sentimental value 
to it. Um, if you watched my videos from the beginning, you'd understand why. It's because uh, many times I interacted with the Corgi on one of my videos that went really, really popular, and I kind of associate my success to these Corgis. And uh, yeah, and I kind of want to pay homage to it. Anyways, that's it for now. The video is long enough, unless I edit it really well, I'm not sure. But uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And uh, I'll leave some links down below, like for example, the fundraiser link and the Thousand Skies link. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So I'll leave you with this. Don't spend recklessly, spend responsibly. But remember, self-worth before net worth. See ya. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing everything.